day to you! I'm Pashbo Proudfeet, and this is an unexpected vidcast. Let's get to it. Hello! Belimpo here, with a little poem of love for you. It goes something like this. Each morning when alone I wake, I have a cup of coffee and a slice of cake, and I wonder how my life would be with a hobbit lass to share it with me. There would be less cake, that is for sure, and she would probably make me poor with all the gifts and fancy clothes, and you'd expect more than a single red rose. But then it does occur to me, I would love to have the company, the cuddles, the kisses, I guess it's true, four feet are better than two. Oh yes, four feet are better than two. Is it the 16th already? I'd better get back on my journey. Oh, and I was enjoying Lothlorien too. And off we go again. Today is the day that Frodo and company embarked again on the next part of their journey. I will have to leave the Lady Galadriel behind. 
No pleasant company on an elven boat for me. But there again, my journey is not as important as Frodo's, I guess. The beauty of this forest is a wonder to behold. Personally, I can see why so few elves like to travel these days. I'd be tempted to stay within the borders myself. Travelling today took me to the very edges of Lothlorien. Before me I can see the great river Anduin, and in the distance the trees of the Mirkwood. Thankfully I don't have to go there, unless of course sometime in the future I decide to follow in Bilbo's footsteps too. Anyway, I have no boat, so we'll instead follow the banks of the river. If I was to follow Frodo's path completely, I would get a bit wet. Night-night.